Hi everyone, I'm TLR Osborne 171 and today I'm doing a Lego haul video. For those of you who don't know what a Lego haul video is, it's basically where I've gotten a bunch of Lego and now I'm going to show you guys because I plan to use it in future content and I think it's just cool to show this kind of stuff off. So, uh, on screen I have George and Cam. I'm going to remove them and now I'm going to show you what I've got. So first I'm going to zoom out and camera adjusts. So these are all Lego Bionicle sets, just giving you a big heads up. So the first set I got is Golly Master of Water from 2015, Skull Warrior also from 2015. Oh geez. There we go. <clears throat> Golly Uniter of Water. Now we're into the 2016 boxes. Liwa Uniter of Jungle. Storm Beast from 2016 as well. Terak Creature of Earth 2016. Uxar Creature of Jungle, 2016. Akaida, Creature of Water, 2016. And finally, the big one, Kopaka and Melum, Unity Set, 2016. So I am going to quickly cut away and build all these sets. And I'm also going to count the pieces on the boxes and see how many there are. And I'll tell you that in just a moment. Okay, so here are all the sets built up in all their glory. And I love it. I love seeing all these sets fresh out of the box and built and oh, just it's lovely. Now, over here we have Golly from in her 2015 orient er, incarnation, Skull Warrior also from 2015, Golly from the in her 2016 form, Liwa in his 2016 form, Kopaka in his 2016 form, here's Storm Beast, uh, Akaida is right here, and Melum is right there, Uxar is right here, Terax here, the three shadow traps are right here, the water ones just off screen, all the collectible masks are just off camera, just to your right. And the Skull Spider is right here tucked behind Terak. Now I'm quickly going to get into some first impressions. Just do like miniaturized reviews without detail. And I can talk about other things. Okay, so let's get right into Golly. So here's Golly in her 2015 incarnation. And her Skull Spider and her Golden Mask, which... I always love the inclusion of the golden mask. It's just a nice touch always because back in 2001 when you got the golden masks, you had to hunt for them in blind boxed mask packs and that was a pain in the keister. Now, Golly's color scheme is great. With the lighter blue, let's just move these to the side. Now, back in the day, Golly's uh, color scheme was mostly darker blue. The standard blue of you think of whenever you think of like a rainbow or stuff, something like that. But this blue is actually very nice. It's very watery. And you get that feminine feel just from looking at her. Now, she has these little uh, spikes on the side, which I guess act like fins. And they're, they're a nice addition. Now, of course, with all the 2015 characters, if you pose their armor right, you just turn the gear on their back, and, oh my gosh, I'm having a hard time with this. And you can swing their arm up and down. Now, Golly has extra uh, weight on her arm just because of how heavy her weapon is, and there's, of course, extra gearing to counteract that, and she can hold up her weapon no problem absolutely no problem whatsoever and uh, let's move to the skull spider 
it's four pieces or five pieces sorry it's basically a mask nothing major oh yeah and golly also has the mask pop off feature push the brain stock and her mask falls off and onto my floor get her weapon out of the way and she also comes with her golden mask which I said is a nice touch because you always had to hunt for them in blind box mask packs and the skull spider can attach to her face too and take control of her mind okay now let's move right on to skull warrior and here is skull warrior in all his glory now for being a mass produced villain he pulls that very well he looks like he's been built from absolutely nothing and I love that when Lego designers do that make it look like he's been built from garbage now the nice thing about these guys and I've heard a lot of people say this is how m mixed up his parts are and this allows you to customize your skull warrior however you want so you could redo his legs and switch it with his arms make it look totally different and I love that idea if I had the money and the time and well a store that would sell me two more skull warriors if I could find them I'd buy two more and just customize them now like all the other 2015 sets he's got the 2015 arm swinging function and let go of the gear and it stays put and that's standard this year it's all because of the fancy gearing behind this shoulder that's normal that's cool now he actually comes with two weapons this blade that he's wielding right now and this bow which is actually a six stud shooter which I'll get into a minute just let me pause for a sec and I'll switch him over so here's skull warrior wielding his bow and it looks actually pretty good with him you can see the handle and all that and the bow itself where the string would go now because this is a stud shooter they need a mechanic to turn the little uh, wedge to fire the studs I don't have the studs on my stud shooter right now because I don't want to lose them they go everywhere they're a pain in the butt to pick up but basically you stick the studs on there turn this gear and it fires them you can look it up somewhere you can probably find where a video that shows what the studs are like now quickly the gear function sucks with this you do that and it messes it up but you can line them up and make it look really cool kind of thing yeah it looks good I think Skull Warriors awesome it was totally worth the money I suggest picking them up if you can find them so next let's get on to Golly's second form so here's Golly Uniter of Water I think uh, this Golly looks great too, just like her previous form. She looks good. Totally captures the female aspect of the character. I don't know how Lego does it, but they did it. And it looks great. Now, the mask is a little different. It looks like she's wearing goggles. And I like that aspect about her. Because before, she had more of a mermaid look instead of this scuba diver look. Because she's got like the scuba diving spear, little propeller here, which you can spin. No biggie. Now she also has the standard 2016 uh, waist articulation feature. That That's all standard. Now, Lego designed this staff very well. You can twist it, twist her hands without having to pull apart her entire assembly. It's all right here. That's awesome. I love that. And of course, she can un unite with Akaida, which I have right here. And you basically just stick Akaida on, like so, and put Akaida's head over top if I can get it. There we go. Let me zoom out or pan up. There, and then zoom in. Get a good look at that. Yeah. And what I do like about all the Uniters, they have this same chest plate, and the printing shows their Nuvo symbol from 
back in their 2002 incarnation. Now, Golly is pretty good. I like her. There's a few things I don't like. I don't like how much her uh, leg armor sticks out. It's very annoying and very gappy. But hey, it, it's still a good set. I like it. I like the idea of the shoulder pads. Oh, she fell over. And with Akaida, she looks good. So, totally worth the money. Now let's get into Liwa. And, yeah, get into Liwa. So, the 2016 version of Liwa. He looks good. Well, decently good. I like his proportions compared to last year, which made his arms absolutely massive, but that was to incorporate his main feature, or one of the features. Um, let's see. Okay, 2016 waist function, very standard. It's very awesome to get that in figures, being able to rotate the lower section of the body. Lewis legs are actually custom built which is nice. I might have to focus there. Sorta, of, yeah. Custom built using the Vorox armor and a bionicle hand. Very awesome, very cool. Now, Liu's arms are built up close to the body, but the way the designers did it, I don't think it obstructs his movement and posability. Like, he still can do everything else that all the other characters can do and I really don't have a problem with it I don't know why people some people have a problem with it it's it works fine and I thought I wouldn't like him for this reason but I do now his weapons can spin around you can change from the blade to the uh, this blade um, I like it originally when I saw the first photos of him I thought whenever you rotate his waist function the blade would spin as well. No, it doesn't. Oh well. Now, of course, because he's a uniter, he can unite with Uxar, which I will grab if I can just there pose him right there. Good. Here's Uxar. Very basic unity piece on Uxar connects with the unity piece on Liwa. Simple, easy as pie, and just put the head on there and the little horns pop up. And I think Liwa looks really good. He looks like a bug or something. Looks like a guy with wings and swords. Or I mean tanfas. That's what they're called. Tanfas. Okay, so let's get on to the next uh, set, which is Storm Beast. Okay, here's Storm Beast. He's cool. I like him. I like him for everything he's got. People have complained about his arms, but I don't really care they still work. He's got really big hands which are made of feet which I think is a great idea. It works. He's got claws for fingers and makes him seem very beast-like and creepy and gross. Love it. I love it. Now he's got a crystal armor piece. You can't attach anything to on it onto it with the CCBS. Uh, he's got custom legs. I like that. It's new, different. Change of pace, like it, like it a lot. His tail is made of a shadow trap. It can close on things and yeah, I like that idea. It's a clever, ingenious way of having the shadow trap implemented. Now his head is cool, it's a mask on a standard 2015, uh, 2015 bionicle head with an eye stock and a jaw piece is attached to the eye stock so if you push the eye piece, the uh, jaw moves with it and if you hit the jaw the mask also pops off oh gosh darn it I gotta find that okay got it never mind yeah so I like the idea of the jaw it makes them look bestial I do wish they kind of figured out a way to adjust it so then the jaw can move just slightly just slightly that's all I wish but aside from that, I'm actually very happy with the way he turned out. Uh, quickly to cover his function, you move his tail, his arm move, arms move. He's like a marionette. It's really cool. Move it side to side, he does this, up, down, moves his arms up and down. Yeah, I like it. It's cool. 
and his fingers are fully posable so you can adjust it to make like fists and other punching thingies. I don't know. Now, yeah, see? Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. Okay, um, now let's get into Terak. So here's Terak, the dragon ape. Personally, I think he's a mole. He honestly looks like a mole, and with his function, which does this, well, let me move his head, he looks like he's digging. I really don't see how he's like an ape. Oh, well. I like Tarak, I like his function, it's very simple, and it's very effective, and it just looks great. And, oh yeah, Onua. So, bring his hands up, arms out of the way, just attaches to Onua, and put his head on Onua, and Onua looks pretty good. Now, of course, Onua's not wearing his Unity mask, which... Is a collectible you can you get with Onua, but let's see. There, but otherwise he looks good. I like him with Onua. I like him alone. He's a great set. So yeah, I think he's awesome. Totally worth the money. Okay, let's uh, move right on to. Let's see. Akaida. Or no, Uxar. Okay, here's Uxar, the dragonfly. And right off the bat, the dragonfly look is so easily seen. Like, the wings don't even move, and they, but they flap, and it looks great. You can move these lower, or these sections of the wings, but you can't move this blade piece. I honestly think that's fine. You can adjust it, make it look like dive bombing, or turning or swooping in and then you can also adjust them this way well that's good legs one two joints here in the upper leg what no one joint here so you can move it and when you have the wings down it looks very flush with the rest of the body I like that Uxar is not my favorite but oops it looks good like as a set the yellow clashes with the trans green and the silver, and it just looks great. Overall, I'm actually decently happy with this one, considering I didn't actually like this one at first. Yeah, so let's move on to Akaida. So here's Akaida, uh, Golly's Uniter partner. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with how they designed Akaida. And I'm happy with all the new pieces and colors we get. Now, Akaida doesn't have a lot of articulation. You get two in the fin, two in the head, and one on the side fins here. That's it. And so they gave her Gatling guns. Two Gatling guns. No Bionicle set has come with two six-shooter guns. So that's 12 studs and 12 extras so that's 24 studs in total and I'm really happy about it and it's aesthetically pleasing now on golly you just lift the fin and everything moves forward so it works with golly in the function and when she's united with golly right here it doesn't look that good it looks rather weird but on golly it's amazing uh, I might show it in the future might not, I'm not sure. Now, one thing I want to touch on, it comes with a stand. I did not have to build that. It comes with that. The designers went out of their way just so you could have a stand instead of a dead fish laying on its back the entire time. It gets a stand. Like, that's cool. Like, what other set comes with a stand? You can even spit it around if you feel like it. Oh, nice. Okay, and, uh... Now I just gotta do uh, Kopaka and Melum. So let's get right onto them and then I can show off the collectibles and the extras. So here's Kopaka and Melum. This is the two pack. Um, I'm happy with Kopaka. I'm okay with Melum. They kind of skimped out on Melum, which is a little disappointing. But it's a sixth creature and I'm happy with the character overall. So I'm just gonna set Kopaka aside. Look at Melum. 
Now, Melum is like a clone of Terak, except shortened. The joints have been shortened, and trans blue is not a big color here. It's mostly black and white, which clash a little. But I did change out these these bones here for uh, translucent blue, and it doesn't look nice. So I think they made the right choice. Now, uh, Melum feature unlike is the opposite of Terak so you move the tail and instead you get this inward slashing motion motion which can look like clapping or it can look like slashing all, all in how you pose the character I have had melon po clapping and I think that's gr it's funny to have melon go so melon is fine on its own it's not something I would want to buy if it was sold on its own. Like, if Kopaku had nothing to do with this, I would have not gotten Melum for $15. There is no value in getting Melum for just $15. Now, Kopaku, on the other hand, he got beefed up. Get out of here, Melum. And he looks great. I like the detail. Gotta find the focus. There we go. I love the look of him. He looks like his Nuva form, and he's got a stinking big sword. And I love this sword. It is just so worth it. It looks so much like his original sword from his 2001 version. And he's got a little shield with a gun on it. Uh, not a big fan of this. It's not too bad. But it's also got stickers, which it's I'm, I'm actually okay with stickers after I watched one YouTube video of someone. I, f I can't remember the video, but they said stickers allow for more customization where you could take the stickers off or you could put them on however you want. That's where the customization is just wonderful. And I love that. I love how the way you put it and it just opened my mind to stickers. But these stickers have a little bit of an indent or go over an indent in the piece. Not too happy about that. I wish they did go around that. But what can you do? Um, I could slice it, but I'm not slicing that. Uh, it comes with six studs and more studs right here. Oh yeah, and Kopaka also has the waist. Right oh, he is squeaky, very squeaky. As I was saying, he has the waist articulation feature, and this one is kind of squeaky on oh, mine. The waist articulation features can be really squeaky or not squeaky at all. So it's all in your luck. Now, of course, these two are meant to unite, and they do so indefinitely. And the paws just go over Kopaka. Make him look like he's sort of wearing a fur coat. And I love it. I love this look. He looks so poofy and ready for the winter. And that's what you think of when you think of the Toa Vice. Now, lastly, I'm just going to go over the quick collectibles and extras that came with all the sets. This won't take long. I'm just going to tell you what set it's from and what it is. And then I'll just do an overview. So, the extras. Here is the Shadow Trap of Water that came with Akaida. And it has the largest leg span, traps all things like a bear trap, and has a little propeller on the back. Here is the Shadow Trap that came with Uxar. Has tentacle legs, Shadow Trap, feature of course, and comes with a chain. Nothing special. Here is the Shadow Trap that came with Terak. It has little unicorn drill legs, and I like that idea. It's actually very funny. And of course, Red Eye and the all-important Bear Trap feature. And lastly, of all the extras, Skull Spider, standard Skull Spider, five pieces. I think I already showed this off. Oh, okay, now the masks. Here is Golly's Golden Mask. Comes with comes from the Golly Uniter of Water set. 
or Golly Master of Water, sorry. It's the exact same as our other one. Nothing major. Here is the Golly Uniter of Water uh, mask. Trans blue and gold. Actually looks not that bad. Very happy with how this one looks. One quick look side to side. Here is the Corrupted Kopaka mask that comes with Skull Warrior. I'm happy how they blended this. It looks very, very good and lo actually looks corrupted. Like the idea. It's awesome to see. Although this isn't canon, I'm still happy they made this. It feels like they're. It feels like Lego was rooting for the fans or something. Okay, uh, next we have Liwa's Golden Uniter Mask. Looks exactly the same as his other one. Golden Trans Green. No biggie. Same as his mask on him. Uh, next we have Kopaka. Oh, Kopaka's Unity Mask. The Golden Trans Blue. Or Trans Light Blue, to be specific. And also features a stud in one of the eye sockets, which can be removed and changed out for more customization. And yeah. And lastly, here is the corrupted Kopaka mask that came with Storm Beast. Now, this one doesn't come with a stud, and I'm happy about that because it looks like Kopaka is not wearing this. And technically, this mask isn't canon. But I don't care. It looks great. Looks all slimy at, on the top, but it's not gold. Like this one. Oh well. It's corrupted. I don't care. I love it. I love collectibles. Okay. Now, I'll review. So, here are all the sets. I'm very happy with this buy. Uh, I got all the sets that were available, and I actually... Yeah, all the builds were actually very complex, considering their CCBS, and CCBS isn't the most complex. Pick up any Hero Factory set off Bricklink and you'll understand. The most uh, intricate build was probably Akaida, because it's mostly Technic. Um, yeah, but overall I'm pretty happy with the entire buy. I like all the collect extra collectibles, I like all the features, and I plan to do a how to sheath video for the Golly Uniter, Liwa Uniter, and Kopaka Uniter, and those will be coming out in like the next few weeks, I can't guarantee anything, the school's on and I'm trying to get things done too, so yeah, well that's all I got to say, pretty happy with everything. Yeah, I don't think I have much more to say. Okay, I'm uh, Teal Osborne 171, and thanks for watching.